Hey everyone, my name is Amy and I'm a student at Vision Tech and today I'm going to show you how to do my final project that I ended up submitting to Imagine. And this is what it looked like. If you can't tell, it's supposed to be a stained glass window. Here's my original picture that I used to create it. But before I go into how I did it and show you the little details and that kind of stuff, I'm going to talk to you about my project plan and the things, things that I would have done differently, um, things that worked well, project plan wise. I'll do the same thing later on for my project, but um, my original plan for this span of time that we had to work on it, imagine stuff, was to do a movie. Um, but I've never done a movie by myself before, or a movie that was very good by myself before, so. I ended up working with Photoshop, which is something I know a lot better, And but one of my main problems was finding an idea that I really wanted to do and something that I thought I could do really well and something that I really wanted to show off at a competition. So um, after a few weeks of kind of procrastinating and just not getting a lot done and not having a good idea. Um, I just went and took pictures and see these are some of the ones that I ended up getting. And the I already showed you the final picture that I took, but I'll show you that again. So if I could do something different in my project plan, it would be not pro procrastinate and put all of the time that I had to use, but I didn't do that. Um, so here's the tutorial that I ended up using, and obviously mine looks a lot like it. I followed it really closely. The only thing I ended up doing, and this was at the suggestion of my class, I didn't do this part, where it only came through the bottom. The light comes through the entire thing, which I actually ended up liking better. At first, I really liked this, but for my picture, this works better. Um, I mean, what I have now this works better. Um, and so I am going to pick up pick up where the tutorial leaves off and so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I did in addition. So that starts with the sky I think because one of the main things about building something like a stained glass window is focusing on light because We've all seen stained glass windows, and one of the main, I guess, attractions about them is the way light comes through them, and like when you're sitting in church and the light ends up being colorful and that kind of thing. And so one of the main differences, there's actually two that I'll talk about right now, um, but one of the first differences that I struggled with was this picture is really colorful, the mushroom picture. And mine is obviously not. And so, again, when you think about a real stained glass window, they're all really colorful. So if I could do something over again, it would be choose a more colorful picture. Um, and then the second difference between the tutorial and my final product is what we use to create it. So the tutorial creator used CS5, and I had CS6, which those are different versions of Photoshop's. Photoshop, and um, in the end it's pretty easy to work with a tutorial for CS5 because all you have to do is Google, but sometimes it's really frustrating. Um, but, yeah, so those are my first two comments. But again, back to light. On this picture, I needed a light source, and I needed a way to make it look realistic. So there's obviously nothing behind the church giving it what would happen here, so it doesn't really make sense. And so you you highlight that using the quick select tool, and then layer via co layer via copy. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, and then on this layer. I'll make everything go away so you can see. Oh.
There we go. You go to filter. Okay. Filter. Render. Yep. Lens flare. And lens flare is just how I ended up getting the look of light because the lens flare color is kind of similar to the color of a sunset, at least on the day that I took pictures, so that worked out well. That'll work fine. You can do different ones. I'll do this one. So there's some light. I'll do another one actually. There we go. So when you add the church back in, it looks like there's a light coming from behind the church that would make it more realistic. And if I could do one thing over for my project, it would be to make the church more transparent somehow. So maybe use this color and make a background behind the church and make the church a little bit transparent so it would look, look more like a stained glass window because the church is really solid there and it doesn't look very realistic I don't think. So another way to make this look more realistic is to make the parts that are a little bit colorful more colorful so it looks better. So what I did was I used this quick select tool again and this looks kind of wonky and I don't know why. There we go. Then do lay a via copy again. Turn these off again. And this is really simple. Just go up here to hue and saturation. On this picture, I thought something a little bit more blue would look good. Especially since this is already a little bit blue. And then boost the saturation. And you don't want that too dark because then that, or too colorful because then it wouldn't look natural. Um, but there we go. And I did the same thing to the door a few times. The last thing I did that was in addition to the tutorial was make these lines look a little bit more haphazard because the way this works is you draw with just the basic brush tool um, lines that would make sense if it were a real stained glass window and so just find big blocks of color so on a white church that was kind of hard but um, just find parts that might be separate from each other and use your brush tool and work on those. So using brush tool it's not gonna be perfect and you can use line tool I just found that the brush tool is faster and the way that I ended up doing this I thought it looked fine. So on this my idea behind it was on a real stained glass window if you've ever seen someone make one they fuse the pieces of glass together and sometimes it doesn't come out perfect and so I thought this made it look a little bit more realistic and so after I drew on the brush which already wasn't perfect I put another layer of the glass on top of it and I also put another layer of the glass on the outer thing, which I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, I'm not going to go into every little detail of it because that would take too much time. But the backdrop here is just a bigger version of the picture that I've put into an oval. Um, enlarged and then flipped. So it's not very difficult. And you can kind of tell if you piece it together. Like th this down here is right up here. Um, I just added a few extra modifications and coloring and that kind of thing to the outside circle to make it look different and more like a border than just 
the picture flipped upside down. So, um, and like I said earlier, this out here, I didn't do the part where it was just lighter. So the streams of light weren't just coming in on the bottom. Um, so that's kind of bouncing back. But the reason, the way I did that was, so I already talked about the reason, but the way I did that was in the option, they have angle, and you can just uncheck angle, and that'll make it all come through at once. So that's not very hard, but um, I don't know if that would be perfectly obvious, so yeah. It's really easy to follow the tutorial and then not see how to actually do all of it. So I made sure that I exper like experimented with everything and changed it. And sometimes I made it take longer because I messed it up. But, um, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Um, I've already mentioned some of the things I would change. Oh, another modification I made was this is the color that the tutorial used and for me that just didn't work out so I made it lighter I just used hue and saturation again and one thing you can do is just experiment with these different coloring modifications and see what would work best for whatever you're doing because each of them does something a little bit different again this is the tutorial oh not that this is the tutorial I used Here's their final picture versus my final picture. That's about it. It's a really simple project. I like doing it pretty well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.